The lab that you're doing today is a blood spatter impact angle analysis. For this lab, the materials you will need are a protractor, a roll of masking tape, a metric ruler, simulated blood, and nine index cards, and a whiteboard. To begin this lab, flip over your whiteboard. Take two index cards and tape them side by side. Next, label your index cards with your initials, your table number, and the angle at which you will be performing the blood drop activity. Next, set up your protractor so that the middle of the protractor is at the edge of the table. Next, tape the edge of your whiteboard to the edge of the table. creating a hinge. To calculate the desired impact angle, the protractor will start at 90 degrees. Next you'll take your angle assigned and subtract that from 90 degrees. In my case, my angle assigned was 40 degrees. So 90 minus 40 is 50 degrees. Once I've calculated my angle of impact, then I'll raise my whiteboard to that angle. In my case, 50 degrees. From a height of 30 centimeters, take your simulated blood and carefully drop two drops side by side on the white index card at your assigned angle. The first drop is trial one. The second drop is trial two. While the first set of blood drops are drying, reset your whiteboard to your next calculated angle and then perform the steps for dropping blood at that particular angle. Remove your index cards from the whiteboard and allow the next group member to perform the lap. Next, you'll have to calculate the height and the width of each of your blood drops. This is the height and this is the width. When you measure the height of your blood drop, do not include the tail. Using the metric side of your ruler, measure the height of the drop in centimeters and the width of the drop in centimeters. You'll do this for both drops and record your measurements on your data table. The height and width measurements for drop one, you will record in trial one of the data sheet. The height and width measurements for drop two, you will record in trial two of the data sheet. Be sure to record your measurements at the proper angle at which you dropped the blood. Next, you'll take your recorded measurements for length and recorded measurements for width and you'll find the average. Once you've calculated the average, you will divide the width by the length to calculate the ratio. Once you've calculated the ratio, you will use simple trigonometry to calculate the actual angle of impact. Once every member in your group has completed their part of the lab, 
you'll answer the analysis questions on the back of the sheet.